Me next. <laughs> Me next. Dropped it, don't look for it because it'll have found it. I've never seen him in the end of the world. What, you lost the lottery ticket? No, it finished it. This bloke finished it and it's still here to cheat to come and stand there and catch it. And there's no I could do about it because I ain't got my name on it. Where did he pinch it from? Well, I must have dropped it when I got it. I could remember seeing it in my hand. You know, because yeah. I sort of had it up, but I sh what I should have done was made sure I put it in my purse. Yeah. And it was a winner. Right. And he stood there and he cashed it and I went and stood right near him as far as I could get into his face and I just stood and stared at him. I've never seen him in the co-op anymore. So you'd gone there to cash it in? No, I bought, just bought it and I must have dropped it instead of putting it, getting it in my purse. Oh, right. I dropped it, but he's, he's evidently he's seen it. I mean, anybody else would have said, oh, you've dropped that, but not him. So, and it come up. How much? I don't know how much it was, because there was that much money about. I never, I never did know. But I thought that would make me more careful. But, to, you know, to do that, I thought it was me. Yeah, yeah. So, make sure if you get any from the co-op, you put them in your purse. Yeah, yeah. I've never, I've never seen him in there no more, but... You know why? You know why? Because he's in the Bahamas with your money. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, drop. 20 pence, please. Hey, it's down there. I nearly said what goes around comes around. That's what my mother used to say. Yeah. yeah. It's true, I think. Comes around in time. Well, that's taught me to always put it straight in my purse when I get it now. Yeah. Don't, I, could, I can still see, mm -hmm. uh, see her holding it up. But I told the girls in there, I said, what he'd done. She said, he had not I said, yeah. I said, and he had to cheat to stand there. I said, and watch me catch it, you know, me yeah. watch him catch it. Yeah. And I said, there was nothing I could do about it. But I said, I said to them, I said, just watch it. Because if you've got one and you drop it, I said, you'll not see it. Yeah. But I never seen him in there no more. I just stood the stairs at him. 
I thought I'll make you feel guilty if no help. Yeah, yeah. And did he look back at you? Pardon? Did he look at you? Well, not properly. He, he couldn't make eye contact. He couldn't, there no. wasn't the eye contact no. because he knew he'd done wrong. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. There's, there's nothing, if you've dropped it, I told them in there what had happened. You know, I told the girl, so I said, just watch it. I said, you know, I tell them to put the tickets in the purse and make sure they go in the purse. Yeah, yeah. I said, I've lost mine, but I hope nobody else does. Yeah. But, I mean, I couldn't have done that. I should have just said, oh, here, you've dropped that, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's what one of the girls on the tell said. She said, that's a bit blooming me. I said, yeah, but I said, what's done is done and there's nothing I can do about it. Mm. But I said, it's taught me to now put it either put it in my purse or put it in the middle of my handbag inside. Yeah. But even now, I, I'm still a bit, don't really trust people, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I said that'll learn me. If I ever want enough, I should have a house. <laughs> and Which, how long ago was that? How long ago? Oh, it's a long while now. <clears throat> be a year or two. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't think of people doing that, do you? No. no. But I've never seen him in there anymore, so. I think I scared him off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd make you feel guilty, mate. It yeah, probably wasn't local, was it? Might well, not it have... ain't forced to be, you see. Yeah, yeah. He might just go around these stores seeing what he can pick up. Yeah. You don't know, do you? No. Yeah. Yeah. Try it work today. Does it work this morning? Oh. She's probably finished now, I don't know. Hey. She might have finished now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is it 10 o'clock? Somebody's coming. Yeah, it's not till the end of the month, though. Oh, the end of the month? Yeah, 27th. Wonder why he wants. About your scam. Oh, why can't they tell her? Well, I reckon you couldn't say it over the phone. Why? Don't know. Because I'm on late Saturday, so I'll be coming as well, see what he's got Pardon? to say. I'm working late shift that day, so yeah. um, I should be coming over as well. I mean, but I don't know why I didn't just tell her over the phone. No. It's different if it's, if it's a different person, but when it's family. Yeah. 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 Perhaps he likes to make house calls. Gets him out of the office. Yeah. You are. He might he might like to make house calls. <laughs> no, it gets him out, doesn't it? Yeah. Probably gets him more money. Well, with it being family and your daughter's I mean, you wouldn't have thought it in a matter, would you? Yeah. Not as if a stranger's asking. No. And then to still say, well, can't show you. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit daft. <laughs> oh dear. Been the lottery. I might have been getting excited and think I'd won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I wonder if they come to your house for the money. Pardon? If you win, and you win the big one, do you think they come to the house with your money? I should say so. I don't think you're going to give it to anybody, have yeah. they? I hope they don't come to our house with the lottery on the car. I hope they haven't got the lottery winner written on the car. Yeah. They park outside your house, you know, yeah. and they've got this big car and it says lottery winner. I hope they come in a plain car. That's yeah. a bit daft, isn't it? It's yeah. they ain't got everybody knocking on the door. Exactly. Yeah. Mind you, you soon be leaving house. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
അതെ Yeah, you see that cardboard rots down as well, yeah. so it all, it all mm. goes down, doesn't it? Have you ever seen duck eggs for sale anywhere? No. Because we sometimes see them on the road, don't we? Yeah. If you see somewhere, you get them. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were also told not to eat duck eggs. And also, that's a nickname for Irish people. What, duck eggs? Yeah. Hey. Is that yeah. all they eat? Well, you know, the Irish from farming stock. Yeah. But... Um, some people call the Irish, as a nickname, they call them duck eggs. You know, instead of paddy, they go, oh, duck egg. They don't like it. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> you never go into an Irish pub and shout, any duck eggs? Because <laughs> my mate used to go around selling eggs. Yeah. He, had a, he, had a, he kept chickens and he had an egg round and he used to take eggs round to the pubs and clubs to sell them. Yeah. And he once walked into an Irish club and shouted, any duck eggs? <laughs> There was an upper. Oh, That's handy. If I want to just go to the hairdresser, yeah, if I have time, yeah. I can just get so my money. Taking your bloody handbag with you. Money in it and a bit more. Yeah, so Tracy's got one to take an holiday. Somebody in. said, you ain't got one, this car down. I said, no, I didn't. I don't to get it yeah. ready. <laughs> yeah, because Tracy's took one. She's put a phone in one side. Yeah. They're quite good, aren't they? Quite handy, because they quite feel the yeah. pockets. Yeah. Yeah, it's Thursday, Friday tomorrow, and Saturday. Well, when I got my hair done this morning. Yeah, you said you'd miss a taxi or something. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. You're giving it a panic then. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I got a message on Facebook, so I've Facebook Tony, but messages are to show so because it's free on Facebook, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I've got number one this morning via Facebook and she texted me, I thought, well I'm not answering your text, it's twenty five P. So I've messaged on Facebook. What time was that? I don't know, because I, I was at Cherry Tree today, so I couldn't keep my phone in my pocket. So when I went for a break, I checked it then. Mm. What was she doing, just checking if it was okay? Yeah. And then she couldn't remember what tobacco I wanted, so I reminded her. Did you say herbal? No. Don't do herbal. Well, they probably do that here, actually. I don't know, to be fair. I've got my hair done. Yeah, because you said, Ian, come round or something, or rang you. Yeah. And then you rang the taxi again, and he come back for you. Oh, that was it. God, it's even a bit mixed up. Yeah. It's nice in this I corner. I'll put that and get mixed up. Yeah. Especially if it's early on, you see. Yeah. And then I thought I'd missed it. No. no. So you've got nothing on tomorrow on the calendar. No, it's Friday tomorrow and you've got nothing on tomorrow. All right? So I've enough tablets to see me back from now. Yeah, oh yeah. you got plenty of them. Hey. Yeah, you got loads of them. So you've got plenty of tablets. I'm I don't think I should have picked them up while I was 28. Well, that's all right then. So I should have plenty. Yeah, you've got enough. Uh, what is it, 28? Is that next weekend? When did you say Nigel was coming? Saturday morning at 12 o'clock. 
Saturday morning at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I wrote it on here. 28th oh, right. and Thursday. Yeah, so it's all on here, look. Yeah, all right. So he said he'd be here about 12 o'clock on Saturday, so I've wrote oh, it on there. Oh, uh, right. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. All right. Uh, good job he does, because I don't. <laughs> 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 he never used to bother me. I've had to go to the doctor say, oh, you take me. Yeah, yeah. It never, never squirmed and said, oh, I'm not taking you out like that. Come on, man, get ready, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how long does it take to drive over? Pardon? How long does it take him to drive over? I was out of hospital. I don't know, really. I don't know how far it is. Well, what about from where he lives in Cumbria to here? Oh, oh, well, it's a long way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't know. Is it about three How hours? How far is it? is it from Cumbria down here? It took us, took us about. You know when I took you? Yeah. It took us about three hours. Yeah. So. And how far is it from here to Louth? Well, from here to Louth, about half an hour. I mean, it's an hour, about half an hour, isn't oh, it? Oh, right. Yeah, don't think it's much more than that. Put it on the, um, get up your thingy. Mm. And I'll tell you the postcode. And that'll tell us. You sort of prepare your own meals? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're more like ready meals. Are oh, they more like ready meals? Okay. Well, well, they're more like ready meals, yeah. I thought she could just pop in the oven. That's fine, absolutely. I can just put them in the oven then. Yeah. I don't blame you. I think it's a good idea, I must admit. Well, on me, I'll hit them. Of course it does. It, absolutely, absolutely. I totally agree I'll with you. I'll get some food. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they're, they're much improved than they used to be. Yeah. You know, so, talking about drinking, just drinking generally coffee, teas, orange juices, waters, things like that. We try to encourage people to drink maybe a litre and a half a day, a couple of pints a day. That could include sort of milk on your cereal, uh, jellies, ice creams, well, yogurts. When I have anything to eat, I have a cup of tea. Good, that's yeah. fine. Okay, that's fine. So I'm always, you know, maybe four or five cups of tea during the day. Okay, fine. Mm. Do you ever drink any water at all with meals, or is it just tea with meals? Well, it's sometimes I have some water. It just depends. It's okay. one of them. Okay. Five bottles of water. Okay. I'll have water maybe and then have a cup of tea. That's a good idea. That that's about the best idea. Yeah. Have a drop of water first. Yeah. And then enjoy your cup of tea and then you can sip away at your cup of tea yeah. afterwards. That's yeah. what I would recommend. That's fine, no problems. That's fine. Okay. That's good. Now I'm gonna ask you something and you may not want to answer this, but um, and say if you don't want to. Do you have any problems passing urine at all? No. Have you had any urine infections recently at all? Were Not recently. Right? I have had them before, but a long while ago. That's fine. And if you don't want to answer this one, I'm more than understand. Do you suffer any incontinence at all? No. Good for you. That's no, good. unless I'm eating something I shouldn't do. Yeah, well, that's not the same as all. Have you? Have you? Right, I understand, absolutely. So you've got to mind what you eat anyway. You do indeed. That's absolutely fine. Do you ever suffer constipation or diarrhoea? Well, constipation sometimes. But Some, just sometimes, is it? It's nothing. Nothing to worry about, I don't think. <laughs> oh, no problems. Okay. Do you go and open your bowels every day? Or yeah. That's fine. Right, that's the worst of the last few questions. Skin, any problems with your skin at all? Any broken no. areas, sore areas, red areas? That's fine. Do you have any problems sleeping at all? No. You Sometimes I don't wake up when I'm walking. <laughs> 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 I feel like I'm stopping in a bit longer. Don't blame you. Yeah, you know, don't blame you. And I think to myself, I'll probably get up. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <coughs> Do you ever sleep during the day at all? Oh, yeah. I can sit in a chair and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Even with the telly on. All oh, right. I don't blame you. Yeah. That's no problem. Um, 
just a last question. We're just looking at sort of well-being, how you feel about life. Do you ever feel lonely or anything like that? No. That's okay. I get the telly on if there's any films or any cowboy films. <laughs> I like them. I mean, do you like Audie Murphy? Do you like those Audie uh, Murphy movies? Well, it just depends what's on when yeah. I'm sitting here with a thing in the hand. <laughs> like me, go through yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> go through and see what's on. Okay. Yeah, I like the vet program. Oh, I do too. They're nice, aren't they? It's, uh, on tomorrow night as well. Is that super Tomorrow vet? afternoon. Or oh, is that it's Yorkshire Bet? Yorkshire Bet. Oh, he's very good, isn't he? Yeah. He's very good, Dave. Two of them are still in it, aren't they, Frank? They are. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you enjoy any other hobbies at all? Reading, puzzles? Well, I like doing them. Puzzle oh, books. puzzle books, okay. Yeah, I'm often. She's got a puzzle up there as well. If I get my nose in that, mm -hmm. the time goes so fast and you look up. Mm -hmm. And then you wonder where the time's gone. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice if it passes the time. That's oh. great. So, how do you generally feel about life? Do you feel content, happy, okay, or do you get a oh, bit? Oh, I'm happy. Happy, okay, lovely. That's fine. That's lovely. That's you done and dusted. No, so, there's anything else, is it? There isn't. You've got to keep going. Absolutely. Let me give you my leaflet. That's what I do. I'm based at the surgery. It's the same telephone number as the surgery. Right. Okay. So I'm there five days a week. Oh, right. If you or family have any concerns or anything like that, you know, support, advice, whatever, give me a ring. Obviously, if you start feeling unwell, you know, you can ring the GP yeah. sort of thing, you know, specialised in that area. But if you want any support or anything else, just give me a ring, yeah. if that's okay. So we're going to refer to the wellbeing service for a lifeline. OT assessment and also I was going to wheelchairs. Yeah. Um, 